there is one reason greater than any other why you should retire as soon as you can. In this video, I'll dive into the reasons why you should bring your retirement date forward before it's too late. Time is one commodity that you don't have any control over. And yet I see so many people in their 50s and 60s just taking it for granted, wasting their time by staying at work when they could be enjoying a fulfilling retirement. I'm amazed that people take time for granted because it is a diminishing commodity. It can never be replenished. I don't know about you, but so many of the significant events in my life seem like yesterday, but they're actually now decades ago. I remember getting married 38 years ago as if it was yesterday. I founded my business 32 years ago. I remember the excitement. 25 years have passed since the birth of my son. Can it really be that long since I held him in my arms for the first time? Not forgetting the death of my father. I can't believe it's 20 years since he passed away. I miss him every day and I think about him all the time. I even got a tattoo a couple of months ago to commemorate the 20 year anniversary of his passing. And then there was my own retirement at 44. That was 19 years ago. Where have the years gone? Time is our most valuable but limited resource and it's passing much faster than you think. I've come to realise after 63 years on the planet that making the most of your remaining healthy active years is the best decision that you can make. I'm talking in particular about your 50s and 60s, your early senior years. Too many people continue to work when they are perfectly able to retire. If that's you, what's stopping you from retiring? Let me share a personal story. In my early 40s, I was at a crossroads in my career. I no longer loved my job. I felt like I was missing out on life. I was having these feelings for two big reasons. One, the passing of my father a year earlier, at age 74, when I was 43 years of age. And two, because my wife and I had had our son after 13 years of trying and suffering the pain of failed pregnancies and lost babies. So when the opportunity presented itself, I decided to retire at 44. And I can honestly say it was the best decision that I made. It gave me the freedom to spend time with loved ones, to pursue my passions, dive into my interests and travel the world with my family. It was much more rewarding than continuing to work full time. To understand my decision, you also need to understand the concept of the law of diminishing returns and in particular how it relates to retirement. This important concept was the key factor in my decision. To put it simply, the more you have of something like money, the less valuable each additional unit becomes over time. This means that once you have enough money to retire, continuing to work to add more doesn't add any value to your life. Instead, it takes away time that could be spent enjoying your retirement. That was where I was at age 44. Sure, I could have carried on working, but there was no need. I had enough to retire at 44. Why carry on working? It seemed pointless. Think about this. What would you do if you had that opportunity? Would you carry on working or would you retire and spend more time with your family? That's the position I was in, so I retired. Let's break down why retiring as soon as you can will be the best decision you make. First, let's dive into the law of diminishing returns that I mentioned earlier. Imagine you're eating a pizza. The first few bites are amazing, right? It's fresh out of the oven, piping hot, smells good and you're hungry. But as you keep eating, each bite becomes less enjoyable. The pizza starts to cool down. Your hunger is satiated. You become full. You should probably stop eating at this point with a few slices remaining, but you don't. If you're like me, you'll eat the whole pizza even though you don't need to. The same goes for work and earning money. Once you've secured enough to retire comfortably, earning more doesn't significantly increase the quality of your life. And it certainly doesn't increase your happiness. It's like those extra slices of pizza, not as satisfying as the first ones and just not necessary. Now let's talk about time. Time is a finite resource. Each passing year reduces the amount of time you have to spend on your retirement. According to life expectancy statistics, the average man in the UK lives to 79 and in the US it's 73, which makes you think, if you wait to retire until your late 60s, how many active, healthy years do you really have left? It's a sobering thought. Health is another crucial factor. Those who retire in their 40s and 50s are typically in better health and able to enjoy their retirement. On the other hand, many who wait until their late 60s find that health problems follow not long after. Men in particular often face declining health in the decade after retiring. 
So by retiring earlier, you're more likely to have decades of good health to pursue your passions and interests. This brings me to a profound insight from one of my favourite books, The Top 5 Regrets of the Dying by Bronnie Ware. I'll leave a link below to the book. Bronnie was a palliative care nurse looking after people in the later years of life just before death. The third biggest regret she encountered was, I wish I hadn't worked so hard. According to Bronnie, this regret was especially common among men. They felt they'd missed out on their children's youth and the companionship of their partners. All the men she nursed deeply regretted having spent so much time on the work treadmill. Bronnie advises simplifying your lifestyle to make retirement more achievable. Reduce unnecessary expenses and focus on what truly matters. You may find that you don't need as much as you think. This creates more space in your life for happiness and new opportunities. So if you think you haven't got enough money to retire, try simplifying your lifestyle and making conscious choices so that you can avoid this regret, retire earlier and enjoy a longer retirement. It will allow you to take advantage of the vitality of your early senior years. So how do you make the decision to retire? Reflect on the points covered in this video. The law of diminishing returns, the value of time, health benefits and avoiding regrets. How do they apply to your situation? If you're financially and mentally ready, don't wait. The freedom and fulfilment that come with early retirement are priceless. Before I conclude this video, let's address some common fears. Financial insecurity is a big one. To overcome this fear, plan carefully and consult a financial advisor if needed. Another fear is losing your identity. Many people link their identity to their job title, status and work achievements. Think of retirement as an opportunity to redefine yourself. You don't need to be defined by a career choice you made in your early 20s. It's an opportunity for personal reinvention and to embrace the chance to pursue new interests and hobbies. From my own experience, early retirement was a transformative decision. I've been able to travel, spend quality time with my family and pursue interests that are fulfilling and rewarding and make me feel relevant. After a difficult first year of retirement, I got a new lease of life. It was the best course of action after a difficult time following the death of my father and the breakdown of my business relationship with my business partner. I could easily have spiralled downhill but retirement gave me the opportunity to rest and reset and I wouldn't trade that for anything if I had my time again. I encourage you to evaluate your own situation. Are you financially and mentally ready to retire? If so, take the leap of faith. Prioritise your well-being and happiness over work. Life is too short to spend more time at work than you really need to. If you're not quite there yet, make plans and commit to actions that will bring your retirement date forward. Imagine waking up each day with the freedom to choose how you spend the day. Whether it's travelling the world, spending time with loved ones or diving into new hobbies. Early retirement can offer you that freedom. Picture your ideal retirement life and let that vision inspire you to take action. To recap, I've discussed the law of diminishing returns, the importance of time, health benefits and avoiding regrets by retiring early. These factors all point to one conclusion. If you can retire, you should. Here are some practical tips to help you make your decision. Start by assessing your financial situation and creating a plan. If you're not quite ready financially, simplify your lifestyle to reduce expenses. If it's the mental side and fear of leaving work that are holding you back, then book a few sessions with a life coach who specializes in retirement transformation. Alternatively, talk to someone further along the path, someone like me. I'm happy to have a virtual coffee with you if that'll help. There's a link in the description below if you want to book something into my calendar. Focus on your health and well-being to maximise your retirement years. And don't be afraid to seek advice from professionals and other people who've already been on the path that you are following. Adopt a new mindset, one that values time and happiness over accumulating wealth and career achievements. It's a life-changing shift in mindset. By prioritising what truly matters, you can lead a more fulfilling and meaningful life. To learn more about how to make the most of your retirement years, watch this video next. Thanks for watching.